In this video, we're going to talk about the LIFO reserve, otherwise known as the LIFO effect. So some firms keep two sets of books. So for internal purposes, for internal reporting, cost accounting, so forth, they use FIFO. But then for external reporting, and by external reporting, I'm talking about the financial statements, the income statement, the balance sheet, so forth, they would use LIFO to value their inventory. Now, you might be wondering, well, why would you have two sets of books here? What, what is the purpose? Well, LIFO, if they use that for taxes, then they're going to have lower taxes because typically we have higher uh, rising prices, which lead to lower income under LIFO. So you'd use it for taxes. And the catch is that if you use it for taxes, you also have to use it for external reporting. So it's mandatory. If you use LIFO uh, on your tax return to compute your inventory, you have to use it for external reporting. But those firms might say, well, for internal reporting, we think it's actually going to lead to better managerial decisions if we're using FIFO. So those firms have two sets of books, and so we have to make an adjustment. And that's where this, this LIFO reserve comes into play. Because in periods of rising prices, so if there's rising prices, then FIFO is going to lead to higher inventory. So we're going to have higher inventory under FIFO than we would under LIFO when there's rising prices. And so we're going to have to make an adjustment because remember, if, if we're saying, okay, well, for external reporting, when we make our financial statements uh, and so forth, we're going to have to put these financial statements out according to LIFO. So we have to adjust the internal reporting measure that we've been using so that our financial statements are, are prepared in accordance with LIFO. Okay, so it's actually a really simple process to do that. So let's say that your business is one of these companies where you use FIFO internally. So your managers to make decisions and so forth, they use FIFO. But then for external reports, when it comes time to make your financial statements, you decide to use LIFO. So we can go and say, okay, well, what is your inventory under FIFO? Well, we just talked about how it's going to be higher typically. So let's say that it's $70,000. That's your inventory accord, uh, computed according to FIFO. Now we say, well, what's the inventory under LIFO? Well, that's 55,000, let's say in our example. So now what we're gonna have to do, so we've got a difference here of $15,000, right? So FIFO is $15,000 higher. So we have to make an adjusting journal entry. So I'll just put it AJE. This is an adjusting journal entry we're gonna make here. To, to kind of catch up or uh, correct for this effect and get us the LIFO from financial reporting. So we've got cost of goods sold. We're going to debit for this $15,000. And then what are we going to credit? We're going to credit LIFO reserve. LIFO reserve for $15,000. Now let's think about the balance sheet effect of this journal entry here. So this LIFO reserve, this is going to reduce inventory to LIFO. So this is going to reduce inventory. Okay, so if we were thinking about our balance sheet, we'd say like, okay, for internal purposes, we were at 70000 for inventory, right? We were at 70000 but then we subtract out this 15000 LIFO reserve. We subtract that out, and then that leaves us with inventory of 55000 which is now, this is our inventory according to LIFO. And so now we can go ahead and issue our financial statements. And for external reporting, all those financial statements, we would have this as our inventory.